All right, y'all. So let's first address the elephant in the room, or in this case, the okay. mouse in the house. I swear, Damn. dude got mouse in the house, a Hall of Fame or something. I wake up this Damn. morning and I see this message from Splash <laughs> saying, I will violate you next time at me. And I'm like, damn, that first oh. part of that sentence made me feel uncomfortable. I ain't even gonna... Fr hey, who y'all think will win in a squabble? Young Old City or Splash? Y'all let me know, man. Down in the comment. I don't know what what uh what Splash did to make All City so mad. All I be seeing is Splash reply to people attacking him. It's it's the same with me, bro. I reply to people attacking me. That's how I've always been. Right. And at first, I was thinking I'd just kind of pick him up and, you know, put him in a seat and say, hey, let's Damn. have a talk about this. <laughs> but when I picked him up and went to go move him over, I heard, wee. Damn. It was like, you know, kind of, it was a little awkward, Damn. especially coming from a grown man. I'm just not used to grown men doing that sort of thing. Damn. So it was like a whole great adventure ride to him. It was like an instant <laughs> smile. He was instantly happy. So I just put him down feet first. So as he's standing in the chair, I tried to let him know that this is a serious situation and ain't time for funny games. Uh, and for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'll help break down exactly what happened. We was on the court and I'm like, yo, princess, go right. And who goes into motion damn he called him princess nah splash you 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 gotta drop a diss track or something bro you you gotta make a video back man like damn you you you, you can't just be look man nine thousand people <laughs> you just gonna accept this splash young splashy but the problem is is that splashy ended up going left it was all good because we ended up getting the bucket anyway you guys already know the all city team we don't lose mm. even a loss is a w but the fact that the little diva went hey are y'all all city people nice hit me up i always need people to play with y'all be claiming the game so good but i can't find no decent people to run with it's a sickness i'm even seeing the negative win percent struggling to find people to run with it's a sickness i don't uh, only people I be seeing like having constant teams is people with crazy clout and the and the comp people that they get are just constant double twisters, you know? Of course you can just pick up any scrub, but like decent people, it just doesn't exist. I don't know, man. Something's not adding up. He left anyway, had me question him. I mean, the dude straight responded to Princess, but after the play, the homie was like, yeah, that's me, but they call me Cinderella. And that helped Damn. me to better understand why I received this message in the first place, saying I'll violate you. You see, in this video that he's referencing, saying that I will violate you, I was talking about a young little loudmouth that be on Twitter yapping Damn. all day. Four foot six little diva in the 2K community. Damn. I never mentioned any names, but yeah. There's no way, there, bro, bro, there's no way Splash is four six. There's no way, there's just no way. Young Splashy, he answered the call. He said, yeah, that's me. And he shared it with the entire Twitter community. The shoe Damn. just fit perfectly. I think it was something like a size three you get the from the kids department. You know, you get sneakers for dirt cheap. So the homie sneaker game is probably top notch. But the Damn. shoe fit absolutely perfectly and he answered the call. So now you, Splashy, you're going to be referred to as Cinderella. Cinderella Damn. of the 2K community. I mean, who else is the little loud mouth diva in the 2K community that's always yapping and star ish? The only problem that I personally Damn. had is that he tried to direct that energy to the All City family. And that's just where it is. So is that is that what happened? Hey, so within this video, we're going to react to more of this, but also we got a clip from 2K devs talking about the damn shooting. We're going to react and speak about that, etc. man. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 281k.4. We are like 30 subscribers away, and y'all make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. Help me hit 200 likes within the first hour so the vid get pushed to the algorithm. Don't be a hater. So we got Mike Wang's little brother speaking, dropping another diss on 2K Lab. 2K Lab, you gotta respond. You can't be getting, you can't just go ghost. Right? You better respond, do your test, whatever. We need a response. We need a diss track. Let's go, man. Let's get the community lit since the game not lit. You feel me? <laughs> Nobody really posting this whole, streaming this whole, you know, like, you know, let's, let's, let's just get toxic. But apparently the game is so good and it's selling so well. I mean, <laughs> something's not adding up. There have been no changes made the shooting in 2K24 since the mm. ones we made at the start of season two. Mm. So as a reminder, those two changes were one, a slight buff to close shots, wide okay. open jump shots, and a limitless range badge. And uh -huh. two, removing shot timing variability due to defensive pressure. Defensive pressure, but still, okay. Now keep in mind, that's not all shot timing variability that was okay. removed, just when it was varying due to defensive pressure. Mm-hmm. And the the reason the reason 2K can't even have that feature is because it can't accurately read 
defensive pressure. Sometimes it gives you certain defensive pressure, and sometimes it gives you other defensive pressure, right? Based off the space, and if someone's close, sometimes it'll give you no defensive pressure. If someone's close, sometimes it gives you a lot of defensive pressure. Sometimes it gives you a certain, de it's, it's random. So then when you shoot, it's random. Do you get it? They're far away. It'll give you a random ghost contest. Sometimes they don't even tell you the, sometimes you'll be contested like a 20%, but that hole will say zero, but you know you finna miss that hole. And sometimes it just gives you random slowdowns and speed ups, even if your stamina is you know, if, if you really got the science to the game, you realize the shooting's broke. But a lot of casual people, I love you guys. I'm casual too. I'm just enlightened, okay? They just don't know. They don't know what's really going on. They just get on, play, they uh, miss, make. Like, they don't really got it as much as they think they do. You feel me? But yeah, like 2K has to become a better game to have that implemented. And even now that they remove that, now there's still slowdowns and like speed ups. Like it's still messed up. It's a whole mess. Again, there have been no changes to shooting since then. We've also seen a lot of questions about the boost for turning your shot meter off. That has not changed this year. Oh, turning damn. your shot meter off still increases your green window size. Damn, 2K Lab. Same as it did when 2K24 came out. Damn. So with that said, we want to remind everyone that changes to Encore gameplay are communicated in our Discord and on our Patch Notes website, and we encourage everybody to rely on our official 2K channels for information about new updates. Don't damn. believe anything you need and hear. <laughs> you know, gameplay he, he sound like he reading from a telepop prompt. He said, don't believe everything you hear. Mm. F team have been committed all year to open communication on changes like these, and if something mm. does change, you will hear it from us. He's saying stop listening to them goddamn YouTubers. Now listen, if you y'all check out my last video, man, I completely destroyed the narrative of who 2K listens to, who 2K has always listened to, and who ruins the game every year, and why the game is ruined. I broke it down to a science. So if people want to keep lying in videos, tweets, Twitter spaces, TikTok, whatever, uh, Reddit, whatever, if y'all want to keep lying, go ahead. But I broke it down for you, like the real science, like it's it's irrefutable. Anyone can sound good in a room by themselves, right? But when they get that pushback, what would happen? Like it, it's a too many lies, guys. Like, we just have to accept it. A lot of people, they're doing false agendas because they don't care about the community. They just want the community, the game to die. They they don't care, bro. They think it's all about them, bro. They don't care. If they see them doing good, they want to, ooh, let me, let me keep it the same. They don't care that the whole community just, they don't care about that. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, man. Y'all got to look past it. Use your head. Like, I, I really wish, I really wish all YouTubers, I wish their views would just go to 10. So then you would see them really tell the truth, right? I wish all the Twitter people, all the people who just, I wish it would, it would just, because then, because people are only honest about the game when their views aren't there. Like, it's, it's, it's every, it's every year, like. <laughs> Every every single year, bro. That's the only time, dog. And then they eventually, you know, they're honest, right? But I'm telling you, if someone make it a certain amount of money, bro, they, you know, like they're they're they're, they're not telling the truth, bro. They're not telling their truth or the truth. You feel me? There there's a lot of uh there's a lot of money in being positive despite what people say, and there's a lot of money in pandering to an audience that plays because y'all y'all gotta think y'all gotta think if you're if you're talking like swante right i'm speaking directly against a lot of people the people that feel like me they quit the game they don't watch content anymore the more than likely the people that still watch content on it like the game and have very different opinions than me right so it's like you know it's not it's not it's not in my interest to speak the way i do but i'm a real one you feel me not everyone is as real, okay? They run a game. Hey, so look, we gonna get more into this damn, okay? We got All City calling Splash a little man. Apparently he played someone in 
all city and dropped them by 100 points. Who knows if that's true? All city saying, leave us alone. You trolling just say that next time you not serious. I could tell by this video, a video about me. I get on it about it and then he just fold instantly. False narrative clown. Mm, you don't violate out here. Unfollow. Damn. All city saying stop. <laughs> Don't make a video for clout next time and do it wrong. At least make a clout chasing video correctly. Take your leave, climb up, and have a seat. Damn, he called him a little. <laughs> You're also welcome for me getting that dead. Feel some impressions. Damn, Splash. Nice, I didn't even know you was a supporter. Thanks, maybe I'll give you a mod. Keep working. Load up the game. You do for news for content, boy. Let's play. You get a pass, young. Just take it and please stop adding me. Damn. Shut your ass. You load up for some money. You sneak this me in your video and I'm mad on you. Get your punk somewhere. Damn you type fast. How you got auto anger responses on my cupcake? Nobody worried about you. Keep it pushing. <laughs> DBG with some facts. We already covered this video in my last video. So y'all can hear me break this video down and disprove it but dbg says some facts i don't agree with everything he says but he does say some facts okay he says who ruined 2k the answer is 2k this is a fact blaming a group of people is just projecting your own frustration with them that, that has some truth in it corporate greed ruined the nba 2k franchise this is true and this is this isn't enough people's motto it's it's going against someone when we should really be coming together. They're creating and fighting for a reason so we can be distracted, bro. Like they do this with a lot of things in life, bro. Like, like real life, everything, bro. Come on, man. Any game where there's not a lot of kids on, I don't care what you're talking about, bro. I'm in game chat more than any person who plays 2K, bro. There's not kids. You might see that in like EJ videos, bro. He's on TikTok, bro. The price point is too high. The real casual gamer, they spit on 2K, okay? 100 a build. Guys, the price point is too high for a yearly cycle game. And the reason they can do this is because of the infighting. If everyone came on one side, stopped double twisting the game, got off their knees, roasted the poor piss poor gameplay instead of capping like they really like the game just because a certain type of community that just got you envious is don't like it like bro like this whole delayed as hell it's laggy as hell online the shooting's broken like bro you not smiling playing this whole like that the, the reason you enjoy it is because you got you you playing with your friends bro like just raw you know, like, you not enjoying it like them other 2Ks and stuff. Like, come on, man. People got to be honest. But that's why we can't get change. And they're, they're really targeting a demographic that's just weak in general, bro. Like, to be honest, bro, like, this is why it happens to the 2K community. Other communities don't let this fly. And that, that's my whole point. Like, catering to people like that is just dumb, bro. Look, NBA 2K24 is the worst review 2K of all time by both users and critics. But you, you don't hear that being told. You hear other narratives. This is why we can't get changed. It's the worst reviewed PC game ever, okay? The community didn't ruin NBA 2K24 corporate greed ruin the entire NBA 2K franchise. The blame is and always will be on 2K. A toxic community is just a symptom. This is a fact, bro, to be honest. To the extent, it, 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 it is both because they, they listen to the negative win percent who just don't know what they're talking about, bro. And if you're a negative win percent, bro, like, don't take offense to it, bro. Like, it might not be you. A lot of people think they know so much what's good for the game when they really don't. But every community is toxic, bro. At the end of the day, it's really 2K. It's 2K. Their skill in developing the game and balancing the game, right? Like, like for instance, if we're like, yo, nerf steals, and then they nerf steals and then you can't get a steal, that's on them. That's not just straight on everyone who wanted steals to get nerfed, right? They can't find a proper balance and that's just a poor gameplay 
developer issue. You feel me? Like, though, they're the real people. Let's see what Booth said. I think he's a comp. My team guy, uh, 250K qualifier, my team head, says, yeah, I'm not going to lie. This really just looked like a shot at somebody specifically more than actually going into detail about what ruined 2K24. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, valid stuff. I agree a lot of the stuff Splash speaks about is valid. It's the same with me. Guys, y'all have to understand, I don't bitch, cry, or complain. I'm, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Every year. Do y'all you, do you not get that? And crying and complaining, it comes from you being inadequate and horrible, not you being dominant. You're speaking valid criticisms. It don't matter either way. You're going to adapt. But when you're at the bottom and you're crying and complaining, that means you're crying and complaining. You feel me? It, it's all about where you're speaking from. Like, you feel me? Look, he, he got it right here. Like, if you crying about somebody dribbling and stuff and you're horrible at the game, that means you're crying. If I'm saying, yo, these stills are broken and I have a 98 win percent and I barely get ripped, is that crying? Come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, we have to stop the false narratives, bro. Like, the, the revenge of the nerd, it has, on the video game, it has to stop, bro. It, like, bro, it, it, it gotta stop, bro. Look at this. Exacto. Comp ruined the game, but 2K literally changed the game opposite of what the comp community wanted. Do you guys not get that? They do it every year. I already went into depth in my video, right? So saying that decent players ruin the game is just ignorant. It is it is it is like the epitome of like ignorance. You feel me? I, I go into depth with every 2k how they created it why they created it in depth irrefutable so it's like i i know i know bruh i know what it's like someone destroy you i know it hey i know it gotta but dog you gotta chill like you, you, you gotta chill bro i i know getting iso it must be embarrassing i understand <laughs> but dog the 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 revenge of the that that it's it's not it's not it bro oh we got long young flexing talking about uh the all city situation oh so he added splash and then he retweeted this the older you get the more you realize how precious life is no desire for drama and then drama oh, <laughs> flexing <laughs> we got 2k intel youtubers can't ruin a game by hating on it after its release they can only ruin it by getting invited to test it out early and not voicing their true opinion of not being invited again. This got some truth and some falsehoods in it, you know? Like, like, really think about it. Can you really ruin a game if the game's good? Like, if it's like fundamentally good, can an outside force really ruin the game? If it's fundamentally good, or can people just make it worse than it already was? I can see both sides of it. And this is definitely true. The the people getting invited out, double twisting, protecting the game every year, the next makers, the logos, they definitely, bruh, we could be getting a better product. They're the reasons y'all don't get demos. Y'all don't even realize that. So then things can't get fixed before the game release. And then, you know, we're playing a beta for goddamn six eight months and we can't get an early beta because they got this damn genjutsu which is why they sales is so gucci because they get to do this let's, let's let's see what splash gotta say man i'ma say this show me one time i personally attack a does not say something about me on the contrary mm. i just wake up 7 30 in the morning i'm i'm even surprised i woke up to even see Riding. And the funniest thing is that wrote me yesterday. Damn. I had to get it sent to my DMs by like 10 and my so I didn't even see it till today. But show me me just personally attacking. Like you think I just personally attack. Hey, I don't be seeing uh probably 70% of splash tweets because there's just so many tweets 
<laughs> but when he do pop up on my timeline, like I, I, it always seemed like somebody's attacking him first. Like he's just speaking his truth. I feel bad for Splash. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. He's just roasting the game, speaking his truth, and then a bunch of like horrible players. They want to comment under him st his stuff. It's not like Splash is going out finding these people. They're directly coming under his situation, his posts, and then it just escalates. But they're directly going in and, you know? So it's like, is he like, like if, if he's just talking his truth and he's not like going at people, I don't, like, I don't even know how the All City stuff happened. Like, All City doing a damn hit piece on Splash. I don't know what's going on, but hey, it's whatever. Like, who cares, man? Like, you know, Splash hate the game. He got convinced. This and I'm like, damn, bro. Randomly? No. One, I catch. Wait, he got uh kicked out the damn 2K League. Uh, he got uh banned from the My Team tourney. He be posting him drinking like every day and stuff. Like, like damn, like what? Let him live, bro. <laughs> like, let him have his truth, man. Ron, about me on a separate post on accident, because you know how Twitter work, it just pop up. And then you try to support me, I tell you, stop. I'm beginning. I don't need you to fake support me, just don't. If you finna be doing all that bullshit. Two, I'm out of body and I get on it just like Broski did. Now we don't, we not even gonna hear from bro again. Niggas get out of line. So I get out of line with him. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with Splash, man. Y'all go check out my last video, man. I really go into depth on what ruined 2K, you know? We get to go into a history lesson. I brought out the 2K Bible, the scripture. Go watch the video. It is on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, Everything I'm at made me, now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.